When there is an execution, every major station comes to the house and they come knocking at the door. <laughs> if you do stay, you can't get out. Um, it's a small town. Well, there's probably 200 media ghoulies around right. with their big tall sticks and their microwave satellite. And then you contrast it with the gingerbread houses and then around the corner from us is this breathtaking vista of the bay. It's beautiful. Of the San Francisco it's Bay. It's a stark contrast. He's not in the uh, death watch cell at this time. He is in cell number one up on death row. They call them special events, by the way. And they were very concerned about the safety. Um, of the public out here on the night of the execution, and could they use my home for surveillance, undercover surveillance purposes? Jim Hammer, outside San Quentin. Jim, thanks a lot. And I thought, wow, here's my opportunity to film Fox National News and what they do behind the scenes. This case has stirred debate over capital punishment and the possibility of redemption after a campaign by death penalty opponents and Hollywood stars who made him one of the nation's biggest death row cause celebs. In terms of an inconvenience, well, I mean, if I, was, if I felt inconvenienced, I shouldn't live down the street from a prison. I think a lot of people think that everybody in the village works in the prison. Well, that's not true. Well, I have a feeling that the antagonism between the two groups wouldn't have been as heightened as it was if the news services weren't there. going to attack me next.